Hey everyone, welcome to the Intel Arc Pro B50 uh, render and viewport test. We are going to use this system that I have on the screen here to test this new Intel GPU. It's a 70 watt small form factor two slot card, tiny, tiny little thing. Um, it's only 70 watts and 16 gigabytes of VRAM. So it's interesting to see how this thing runs. So we'll get to the rendering tests first, but before we do that, I just want to announce that we did launch the Discord channel. There's a link to that in the description, so go hop in there. That's a place for all of the hardware and software stuff that we do on this channel, as well as uh, Blender topics and other 3D uh, discussions. So go check that out. And along with that, I actually split this channel off um, all of my art stuff and 3D tutorials and everything are going to be on the Contradiction Art channel, which I just started. And this channel is going to focus on the tech side of things from now on. So those things kind of are related, but uh, I decided to split them up so they could kind of be more focused going forward. So go check those things out. I'll have links. Um, but with that, let's get into the rendering. Here is the Intel graphics software just showing that resizable bar is enabled on this PC and the driver is up to date as of today. We'll start the rendering with the Blender classroom scene. This is the lightest test of the four. And this one took 44 seconds on the Pro B50. The next scene is the barbershop scene. The Arc Pro B50 took four minutes and 45 seconds. Next up is the heavy scene. This is the Lone Monk. It took this GPU 6 minutes and 24 seconds. And finally, the Scanland scene, which took 2 minutes and 55 seconds. Next up is the viewport frame rate test. Okay, now we will run the viewport test. Here I have my animation open, and we have the Intel Arc Pro B50 with Ombre selected and one API, and we're running the Vulkan backend. And this is in Blender 4.5. So I will just hit play here, and we'll let it play through about one and a half times so we can see kind of an average frame rate. You can see it in red at the top left of the screen. It looks like it averages about 3.1 frames per second. But we'll let it play for just a few more seconds. So it's bouncing anywhere from about 3 to 3.2 frames per second most of the time. Definitely bounces around a lot more than some of the other cards that I've tested. But I think that's the number we'll go with. So I will go add that to the results. And finally, we'll run the Blender Open Data Benchmark in Blender 4.4. And you can see the numbers on the screen there, but we'll talk about them with the other results here in just a second. So now let's go through the rendering results. We'll start off with the Blender Classroom scene. I have the Arc Pro B50 highlighted in blue, and you can see that the 9060 XT and the RTX 5050 are both highlighted as well in their respective company colors. So you can kind of compare those uh, at a glance as we go through these. But for the classroom scene, the Arc Pro B50 took 44 seconds, which puts it eight seconds slower than the 9060 XT, and basically half as fast or two times as slow as the RTX 5050. Next one is the barbershop. The Arc Pro B50 took 285 seconds in the barbershop scene, and that puts it significantly behind these two competitors. So study that one. This is a little bit heavier of a scene. Next is the Lone Monk. This one is always interesting. The AMD 9060 XT actually beat the 5050 in this test, <clears throat> and both of those GPUs beat the Arc Pro B50 by a pretty wide margin. Um, one standout I'd like to point out here is the Arc A770. 
which is still ahead of, of all three of these by quite a bit. And I haven't even retested this recently. So with newer drivers, it's possible that things even faster now. Might have to go back and retest that one. But study those. And finally, for rendering the scan land scene, this one took 175 seconds on the Arc Pro B50, which puts it just a little behind the 9060 XT. And again, about uh, two times as long to run this scene as the 5050. So uh, definitely a lot slower than that one. But keep in mind, this is only a 70 watt GPU and it's tiny, so you can use it in basically any computer. The next result here is the viewport frame rate test. And here you can see that with Blender 4.5 and Vulkan backend turned on, the Intel GPU is very, very clearly the worst one of my results so far uh, by quite a bit. It's, it's less than half of the frame rate of the 9060 XT and just a little over half the frame rate of the 5050. So it's, it's not a strong performer in the viewport. So it, it kind of, it just depends on what you're using this for, but um, it's not as good at modeling as it is at uh, rendering in a small computer. And then finally, a similar result here with the Blender Open Data Benchmark. This one is squarely at the bottom of the list. Uh, not much to say there, pretty similar results to the last ones by percentages, but you can, you can study those more if you'd like to. And that is it for the rendering results on this one. So again, go check out the Discord and uh, the other YouTube channel if you're into the 3D art side of this as well. Uh, the Discord is going to be a great tool to kind of dig into some of this information a little bit more. And people have been mentioning that comments are kind of a hard uh, place to be able to keep conversations going. A lot of the information gets lost. And um, so the Discord server will be a great place to see more and hopefully keep some of that information organized. So go check that out. Otherwise, that is it for this video. I appreciate you watching, and we will see you in the next one.